service of CNC Worldwide. CNC Podcasts are a service of CNC News, and they're brought to you by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 member companies with business solutions since 1984. Half a million people visit Rochester's Lilac Festival each May, and this year some of them will have a chance to shoot for a world record. County and city officials began announcing details of the first festival of spring Monday. They hope to kick off the 2014 Lilac Festival May 9th by breaking the Guinness World Record for creating the world's largest human flower. That was set in England in 2012 by 2,190 people. Basically, the idea is to get more than 2,190 people to show up the first morning of the festival and be assigned flower petal or stem. You'll be issued purple, pink, or green ponchos as necessary and directed where to stand while photographers in a helicopter overhead get the shot. Everyone has to stand still for at least five minutes. Duke Jupiter will keep everybody entertained while they're setting up and going for the record. Two people were rescued from the Genesee River Gorge near the Veterans Memorial Bridge last night. Rural Metro Ambulance says both were pulled from the gorge by firefighters who used ropes to get down to them. The victims were a man and a woman. They were taken to Rochester General Hospital for treatment of possible hypothermia. Police say the woman's a city resident who fell about 10 feet from an overlook, and the man apparently got into trouble himself trying to help her. Testimony in the state trial of Don Nguyen began with the clerk who sold a semi-automatic rifle and a shotgun to the young Greece woman nearly four years ago. Antonio Garcia worked at Gander Mountain in Henrietta at the time. He testified that Nguyen bought the firearms with cash and with her was William Spengler. Spengler later used those guns in his Christmas Eve rampage in 2012. Three people were killed and three injured before Spengler shot himself. Nguyen's on trial because prosecutors say she lied on the background check form and said the guns were for her. They allege Spengler paid her $4,000 to buy those guns because he was barred from owning them as a convicted felon. According to the political blog Lohud.com, an attempt to repeal the NY Safe Gun Control Law was thrown out by a state assembly committee Monday. A group of Republican assembly members with the backing of right-to-own advocates introduced a measure to repeal the law. It was unanimously rejected by the Assembly Codes Committee, which means the full assembly will not get to vote on it. Although he says he's a fan of public campaign financing, State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli says he will not take part in the demonstration public financing plan for his campaign, a last-minute addition to the state budget. The budget offers a public matching dollar plan for the Comptroller's campaign only this year. DiNapoli was immediately skeptical of it. He pointed out this plan requires his office to supply the money from New York's unclaimed funds pool, which he administers. DiNapoli says that puts him in the position of approving money for himself as well as potential opponents, and he said that's ethically questionable. It would also require him to give up 70% of the money he already raised for this year's campaign. A company that builds commercial vans will add 62 new jobs as part of a $3 million investment into a new plant in Wayne County. Governor Cuomo's office says Ranger Design is based in Montreal. It builds parts for commercial vans. It serves major automakers and owners of van fleets. Its U.S. division is currently housed in temporary space in Rochester. The company has decided to build a permanent facility in Wayne County in the town of Ontario. It's planning a 78,000-square-foot plant. State police have charged a Rochester man with 19 counts of identity theft for allegedly using a victim's credit card information to steal nearly $92,000. Investigators arrested 46-year-old Stephen Argento of Rochester on those charges, as well as a count of grand larceny and 19 counts of unlawfully possessing someone else's personal info. The crime occurred between last May and last November. The Rochester City School District is one of five chosen nationwide to take part in a peer-to-peer -peer jazz education program this week, featuring Antonio Hart and Lisa Henry. The Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz is holding this program in city schools Tuesday and Wednesday. Five highly gifted musical students from the Los Angeles County High School for the Arts are paying a series of visits to city schools. Along with them, Grammy-nominated saxophonist Antonio Hart and Kansas City jazz and blues vocalist Lisa Henry. Besides a concert, each school's jazz band gets to work with the visiting performers. They'll do the same Thursday and Friday in Buffalo, then wrap up with a concert Friday night at the Trough in Buffalo. The New York State Lottery says two sizable lottery prizes are waiting for people who bought winning Take 5 and Lotto tickets for April 5th. 
The lottery says the Take 5 ticket was sold at the East Ridge Road 7-Eleven in Rochester, and it is worth more than $18,500. The lotto winner was bought at the Menden Supermarket in Menden. That payout is more than $22,500. Check your tickets, folks. Your next CNC podcast is whenever you click on one of these pages and catch one. We post updates here uh, as necessary during the day. And I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.